the idiopathic intracranial hypertension is a disease that we mostly see in young obese uh, women in fertile age. And um, this is 90% of the patients are in this category, a typical uh, idiopathic intracranial hypertension patients. And uh, the diagnosing is uh, very important in the, um, the first stages of the disease because with ongoing disease and no treatment, the worst case scenario is that they could be blind at the end. Uh, most of the patients have headaches, uh, tinnitus, and visual problems. And um, when they come to, to us, usually they have popular edema. Uh, so it's very important the uh, um, uh, collaboration with uh, ophthalmologists. Um, and uh, so in our center, we have very good co collaboration and uh, teamwork. We put them on uh, medication and we follow them very closely depending on the stage of the disease, the popular edema and uh, uh, waste, um, um, the lose of weight is also very important. So they, we put them on, on diet and this is very important because losing 10% of the weight has um, a large influence on the disease. So the disease could be controlled by just losing weight, which is sometimes uh, difficult to believe, <laughs> especially from the patients, but it actually is the number one uh, treatment that we are trying to, to um, uh, tell the patients is very important aside from the medications, which have a lot of side effects. So, but these two approachments are very good. And if that's not working um, after close monitoring of the patients, if uh, there's um, more and more popular edema, then another option is an optic nerve fenestration, which is done by doing a little hole in the optic nerve sheath. And this is also done with our um, uh, neurosurgeons. And this is a very good treatment. And now we have um, about 15, 18 patients treated that way. Yes, and we are doing, of course, the research uh, in our department. And um, there's a lot of things uh, um, going on in this field also, very exciting things.